Next, we continue to talk to voters all across the viewing area to find out what issues that they care about running up to early voting that actually starts this week. Yeah, tonight our hometown voices tour takes us to Southeast Raleigh, where the population is more than 60% African American and overwhelmingly votes for Democrats. In 2016, 92% of Southeast Raleigh voters favored Hillary Clinton. Fewer than 8% voted for President Trump. Joel Brown is here now with tonight's hometown voices. The choice is ultimately left up to you. In Southeast Raleigh, our hometown voices were spirited. All four voted in 2016, none of them for Donald Trump. But 38 weeks until the nation decides its next president, all four remain undecided, wary of the infighting among Democratic challengers. Like crabs in a barrel. I understand that they want the job, but nobody, where well, hardly anyone, is saying what they're going to do. I'm not just, most people are tired of the uh, promises. I'm starting to become allergic to them. Alicia Hammond is our youngest voice, 31 years old, no children, and feels the current crop of Dems is more of the same. This whole election is so tiring because you have seen the last, the same faces over the last 20 to 40 years. Presidential elections meet new faces and younger faces and diversity of faces. Alicia not yet familiar with Pete Buttigieg, the 38-year-old small town mayor currently playing Democratic frontrunner. This question about Pete Buttigieg, he is new, he is young, it's a fresh face. It aids in, in, in helping, what, what, what do we call them now? The millennials. Sure. All right. He's a millennial. Right. <laughs> Princess Jeffries, a 45-year-old wife and mother of four, is CEO of her own nonprofit offering support services to small businesses and has concerns with Mayor Pete's level of life experience. And I think that's where people have a common concern um, in regards to, yeah, you may have education, um, you may have a background, but have you actually been in somebody's shoes in regards to the issues of life? If you had a chance to talk to one of these Democratic candidates, if you had a chance to talk to President Trump, people in power, people who want power, what's on your mind as a voter? Everybody says what goes up must come down, but the cost of living that keeps going up, where the minimum wage is going up at. The number one issue is the people. Didn't we bail the banks out several years ago yes. with yes. our money, but now to try to get it back or try to get a loan, you might well pull teeth with a uh, with a toothpick. Are you better off than you were four years ago? <clears throat> Me? Yes. I'm fine. You credit President Trump with that? No. I don't. I, I, I credit me. A recent Washington Post poll of over 1,000 black adults found 83% believe President Trump is a racist. I think Trump is racist, but I think he's racist towards more than just black people. To me, you have to earn my respect to be in the, in the house right. and you know, keep it, but he, he didn't earn it. He bought his way in mm -hmm. one way or another. Now, as far as our black people, we need to, we've always needed to vote. Now, everybody rushed out with when Obama was running, mm -hmm. and then when it wasn't him, we went back to do it, you know, let someone else do it. In this room, voters decidedly against the current occupant of the White House. I think God used him as a divine plan. We may not like him, but it definitely has everybody on their toes. But still uncertain on the alternative. And everybody's like, I appreciate that. What are we going to do next? In Southeast Raleigh, Joel Brown, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.